This next demonstration uh, will be uh, on making a glass fish. Uh, now, uh, just a couple things. Uh, there's, there's more than one way to, uh, to make a glass fish or something passing as a glass fish. Uh, this is a, a colorless uh, soft glass about uh, eight and a half millimeters in diameter. Uh, this rod will be the base uh, or the body of the fish and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to add some color to it uh, you don't have to you can do this entire uh, exercise in colorless now what I would definitely recommend is uh, the fish is a great way to practice because it forces you to uh, to go through many uh, uh, different skills working with the molten glass and it's, again, a fun demo for the, the students to watch, although it does take some time. Uh, so I would recommend uh, saving this particular demo uh, for an opportunity when, you, when you've got like some dead time. For example, like say the students are uh, working on uh, making glass chains or something like that, and you could start uh, the, uh, the fish demo and uh, let them you know, watch as, as they get an opportunity. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to streak some black glass onto the, uh, the rod. And just a little bit. By the way, one of the things I'm doing right now is uh, I'm changing my uh, my orientation of how I'm holding my hands and holding the glass, uh, hopefully to make this easier for uh, you to see uh, in the camera because uh, the camera is on my uh, top left. Uh, so I don't want my hand to uh, be blocking that. So I've got a streak of black glass on one side and if I wanna straighten that out a little bit or press it down, I can use again like a cheese grater or a butter knife I'm not too concerned about that right now because I'm going to heat this very strongly going forward so it'll have time to melt in. And on the opposite side, I'm going to streak in a little bit of this uh, yellow-orange. That's actually a very thin streak, so I'm actually going to add just a little bit more. Again, how much is absolutely subjective. I could add more colors at this point, uh, but I think you'll, you'll get the idea. Now, what's really nice about this particular exercise of making the fish is how you start this is absolutely no different than how you would start a pendant or a marble or many other uh, uh, like an icicle, for example, uh, many other uh, kind of decorative uh, items. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to encase the colors with a little bit of soft glass. And that does uh, two things. It, uh, if the color is very sensitive to, uh, to the flame, uh, that uh, encasement protects it from the flame. Uh, another really neat aspect of encasement is it gives the body of the fish this luster, this uh, shine, and the colors are on the inside. So I'm taking some colorless, just streaking it right on there, and burning that off. Now since again I put a, a large lump of glass on there, I want to heat that up. push that on there to make sure uh, it's, uh, it's not going to crack. Soft glass, especially what, I, what I'm doing right now of thickening it, up, thickening it up like this, has a very high propensity for cracking. Uh, so you've got to keep it hot at this stage. 
Uh, I'm going to twist this and that will thin it out and uh, help uh, mix it up a little bit, make it more uniform. But at each stage that I'm doing that, I will need to keep the glass as hot as I can uh, control and, and keep it under control. The body, the, 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 main, the working rod, the main rod, uh, is drooping a little bit because of the force that I used uh, when I uh, pressed on the colorless, but that's, that's normal, that's not a problem. I'm going to take a five millimeter rod, also soft glass, and punty it up and twist. Now, there, there's several things I can do at this stage as far as how I punty this. What I'm going to do is I am going to make this a hot seal. I'm going to twist up this glass and then I'm going to separate over here uh, on my right. And this will become my new, con you know, my new uh, punty, my new control rod for the project. And uh, you don't have to do this. But I think in this case, uh, because of uh, the thickness of this rod and just uh, what my plans are as far as twisting up this glass, uh, it makes a lot more sense to, uh, to switch punties, basically go from the larger punty to the smaller one. So now I've connected these two. And at this stage, my seal is probably a hot seal, but it, uh, not, a, not a fantastic one. So I'm going to add some more heat and gently push right at that interface to bring these two pieces of glass uh, together to fuse them. Okay? This is no different than, again, than if you were making an icicle. So now I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. Normally, when I twist, I come out of the flame, but in this case, because of how thick this glass is, uh, I want it to be molten. I want it to be really hot as I'm uh, putting some twists in there, because I'm concerned that uh, because of the non-uniformity, uh, if it cools, it could break. So, if this was borosilicate, I'd have no problem coming out of the flame so I am, if you notice, when I say coming out of the flame, I'm coming out a little bit, uh, but I'm still uh, staying pretty close. So now you can see that because of my, my twisting, uh, I've made this, uh, the color much more uniform. Again, see now, I'm feeling a little bit better about uh, the uniformity of this. Now I'm gonna work. My left side, will be the, uh, the mouth of the fish. At least that's my plan right now. How much do you twist this? Well, that is uh, really up to you. I'm, I'm basically gonna stop twisting it at this point. And now what I need to do is I need to detach. So I want the rod on my right, uh, the thicker rod, I want to remove that. So I'm rotating in the flame and I'm gently pulling. Give it a little twist. There we go. I'm coming back to my left side to heat it just to make sure again, it doesn't get out of control on me. And that's pretty good. I'm going to actually use my tweezers uh, to remove a little bit of this glass just to uh, make it easier when I get to the point of uh, wanting to make the body, shape the body. There we go. Okay. Obviously, this does not look like a fish at this point. This will be the body of the fish. Now what I need to do is I need to gather it. And it's really up to you if you gather this 
all the way up, in other words, make a very nice sphere, or keep it a little bit oblong and squish it. So I'm going to squish it like I would a pendant uh, to flatten it out to make the body. If you want your, the, obviously, if you want the uh, fish to be longer, uh, you would, uh, basically, you could squeeze it right now, you could squish it right now, and you'd get more of an elongated shape. So I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, just heating and rotating and gathering this glass up. So I'll, uh, I'll fast forward through this part. I've, uh, I've gathered this back up, and if you notice, I did use my little cheese knife to push the glass in a little bit uh, to help speed up the process to help gather this up. Uh, again, uh, I could keep doing what I'm doing now of, uh, of heating in this and gathering it and, and, and do this for a few more minutes, but I actually want the fish body uh, to be a little bit more... Uh, uh, I guess oval shaped uh, than a perfect uh, circle. So now I'm going to uh, take these tweezers, and you could use regular tweezers. It's more difficult to use them, but it would still it would still work. I, sh I shouldn't say it's more difficult. It would just uh, take more squeezes. Okay. So I'm warming these up. Take this. Give the body a squeeze. And at this point. Uh, again, depending on what you're trying to uh, do as far as the body of the fish, uh, you can reheat the whole thing and give it another squeeze. So I'm going to do that just to thin it out a little bit more. I try not to squeeze too hard uh, the first time I'm moving the glass, just to be on the safe side. And then... Now that it's a little thinner, there we go. And see, notice how I can even come back and bring it back on center by giving a little push here and there. And that's pretty pretty reasonable for a fish. Uh, I've made smaller ones. I've made larger ones. Uh, for me, I would rather uh, have it a little bit bigger than uh, small, uh, just because it's uh, easier to uh, to get in there. Now, uh, for me, uh, what I like to do is make the eyeballs first. Now, if you have uh, a pair of tweezers that are designed for making holes, for making bales, uh, you could actually pinch on both sides, and those indentation marks will be where you can place the fish eyeballs. Uh, I am just going to uh, wing it, and I am going to put a couple small balls of glass near where I think the eyeball should be. There's one. A little bit more. And there's the other one. If you notice, I, I I added a little bit more glass on the second eyeball. In fact, I might need to come back and add just a teeny bit more to make them a little bit more uniform. Uh, but again, that's one of these things where uh, you'll, get, you'll get a lot of practice doing that. And if you don't have enough glass, uh, you can always come back and, uh, and fix it. So now what you need to do is heat them in. You need to get them nice and molten. And then to shape them, give them a gentle, gentle squeeze. By the way, you can do the eyeballs one at a time, uh, uh, which, is, which is fine too. Another way to squeeze one side or flatten one side but not the other is instead of using uh, the, uh, the mashers, use, like I said, something flat like a butter knife or this uh, cheese grater. Some of the uh, color glass, because of how much pigment it has in it, 
it tends to uh, be a little bit more difficult to work. It tends to uh, require more heat. Uh, now what I'm going to do is just put a little black dot on each of these to kind of sell that it's an eye. There we go. Of course, you know, the color and any other aspect of this uh, that you, you want to change, uh, you know, obviously you've, you've got all the, uh, all the latitude as far as uh, how, you, uh, how you make these. I typically will make, like, the fish uh, a little more cartoon-ish. Uh, with kind of big eyes and things like that, but in this case, I'm going I'm going pretty quick, so I want to just get this uh, demonstration done. So now I've got the front of my fish, the eyeballs, and I need to put on uh, uh, the fins. By the way, uh, make sure you keep the body hot during the entire process because. Uh, if you're not careful, again, you can you can get things to pop. My eyeballs should be pretty well welded in, but I'm just going to give them a little bit more heat just to make absolutely sure. If the body of the fish starts getting out of control, heat it, rotate, heat it, rotate until you can break, basically bring it back on center. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a hot weld at the bottom. I want to get this really hot so these two flow together. And Taking the glass, pulling it back, wrapping it over, and then pulling away. There we go. So that's one fin. And doing this with my left hand is going to be a little bit more tricky. Yep. Now, right now they're not perfectly matched, but that's, that's okay. If I want, I can come back and add glass uh, to the left. What's, again, one of the uh, uh, things that you'll be able to do that uh, I'm struggling with right now is change your body position. I'm trying to keep my, my hands out of the view of the camera, or out, uh, from blocking the camera. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I'm not making it worse. Uh, so now, what I, uh, there's several ways you can make the fins on the end. Okay, so again, this is a hot seal. And I'm actually going to flip it upside down, kind of work towards the middle. Okay. Pull out wrap over, pause, I'm pushing, and I'm pulling. And 
and I'm going to do one more wrap and then separate. See how I'm doing? There we go. Okay. Now in this case, it's easier to come in from the bottom like this and kind of make, make that initial connection and then switch directions again. By the way, if you notice how this rod is changing colors on me uh, as it's working, you can see it's gone back to that yellow. So you have these striking colors, colors that uh, only start to manifest uh, as the glass is heated and as you're actually working the hot glass uh, the colors can be changing on you and that's perfectly normal so you don't really want to worry about that what it does tell me for example is see the yellow right there tells me that's cooling down so I can go ahead and just heat that whole area up now I want to come back here finish this Hopefully there are no marine biologists going to be judging, judging my authenticity. All right. And I'm going to take this, wrap it one more time. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see how close these two are. And there we go. There's no reason uh, why you can't stop at this point, but I do put a fin on the top, and you'll see that that actually is convenient because it will act as a punty as we're finishing the front of the fish. So as I'm uh, heating up the rod, getting ready to make that last connection, last fin, notice I'm keeping the fish in the backsplash of the flame so that way its entire body stays really warm. I don't want it so hot that it's out of control, that it's drooping, but at the same time I don't want it cold and have to worry about is it going to uh, crack on me. So I lay down a blob of glass right there. I'm trying not to be in contact with the other, other fin at this stage. And that blob of glass that I put on there, uh, on the top, is pretty thick, but that's okay because when I do the wrap and pull, okay, here we go. When I do this, when I wrap over and pull, all right, you see how now I can start thinning that out to whatever I, uh, makes me happy, okay? I'm actually gonna lift this up and go like that. Now, at this point, I could finish this this top part of the fish but I'm gonna stop I'm gonna I'm gonna basically get my right hand centered relative to the fish so now when I rotate I've actually got a pretty decent punty and the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to remove the face or the front of the fish I'm gonna remove this white rod I'm sorry colorless rod and uh, that will give me the mouth of the fish. Again, you can see how in the back it's starting to cool down a little bit, so I give it a little bit of a splash of flame, a splash of heat from the flame. So you can see, as I'm pulling this off, I'm, I've got a really large blob of glass right on the front of the fish, but that's not going to be a problem. Two ways you can deal with it. You can pick it off with a glass rod, like I'm going to do now, or you can use tweezers. So this ability to peel away glass using a, 
another glass rod is really convenient because sometimes as you're working, uh, having to let go of, you know, like the punty you're working with or uh, whatever, whatever's going on uh, to grab a pair of tweezers uh, is, is going to, uh, for whatever reason, you know, cause you some problems. So now at this stage, again, just to keep everybody happy, warm this up, I can shape this mouth area. If you want to, at this point, you can put, uh, you know, like a little little daub of color if you want to give the fish lips uh, some color. Uh, but in this case, just to keep everything as, as simple as possible, I'm not going to do that. Using uh, a sharp edge, well, actually, first I'm going to use a flat edge. That is, it, the, the mouth area is a little, a little more pointy than I'd like, so I'm going to push it down like that. By the way, you could stop at this point, honestly. Uh, but I'm going to use the edge of the cheese cutter uh, to put a little indentation right there. to give it a little bit more look for the lips. See, now at this point, if you want to make some corrections, for example, uh, if I'm not happy with uh, how these have, have come, come out, uh, I can heat them and uh, move them around a little bit. For this particular demonstration, I'm not too concerned, but this does look a little odd of how how far out uh, one of the, the fins are. So I'm going to heat that up, push it, bring it in. I could actually either add or remove glass to make it look more symmetrical. But again, at this point, it's not that important. There we go. Now you can see how we're doing for the fish. Now, uh, to finish the fish, uh, you could either grab its body with tweezers or punty up. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to punty right there, a cold seal. Then I'm going to uh, detach here. So. Unfortunately, my camera uh, stopped recording uh, right as I was about to finish uh, the fish. Uh, so I will uh, do a quick demonstration to show you essentially how to finish it, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, fortunately, the camera didn't catch me uh, breaking, breaking the fin as I uh, uh, clumsily put it down. So uh, this is the body of your fish. If this is that cold seal, this is this obviously is uh, uh, not a cold seal, but again, just to show you how I how I finished. So let me go ahead and put a layer of glass on. up, wrap it, and pull. I'll do one more. Wrap, and then pull. So this is basically where I was in the video, I believe, where uh, this was a cold seal, and I was basically getting ready to detach. And it's actually very straightforward. So you, you heat up 
uh, the glass on your right, which is your, your support for the fin. And depending, again, on, on what, what you really want, you make another wrap, you pull, and then once you're happy with that, you could do it, again, as many times as you like. Just heat the glass up, and there we go. And if you want to make some other adjustments, like for example, if you want that point to be much sharper, you, now is the time where you can make these type of adjustments. So you can see, I can, I can make a little bit of adjustment there. Uh, now what I did badly uh, is uh, you place the uh, fish over a surface uh, like this uh, heat resistant uh, a pad and very carefully tap it to break the punty off. Uh, when I did that, actually right before I hit the punty, uh, I actually hit the fin on the side of this and, and broke it off. Uh, I could go ahead and uh, fix that, but that's not that big of a deal. This is cool now because it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, after you separate the punty, you should fire polish the front, the, the lips, uh, of the fish uh, so that way it doesn't have uh, any sharp edges. But uh, it's unfortunate, like I said, it, it timed out right at the very end, but that, that's fine. It was a very long video to start with. Uh, something that you can do to make your life a little bit easier is practice this method of wrapping the glass, flowing the glass uh, uh, on top of itself. And I can, uh, uh, I can actually give a reference uh, uh, to uh, uh, where I learned this technique, the, the book I, I learned it from. I believe it was Hoyt. Uh, so uh, it's something that once you get the hang of wrapping glass, molten glass on top of itself and pulling, uh, you can make all kinds of interesting uh, structures.